Hello all, my name is Adonis and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a weekly love reading for all of my Libra out there for the week of January 20th to the 25th. So, let's get after it. Alright. <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. 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 Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. What type of energy is coming towards my Libras? What kind of energy is coming towards my Libras during the week of January 20th to the 25th? Show me cards that I need to see. Okay, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. So, right from the beginning, we have a twin flame connection here. This individual very deeply believes that they have a twin flame connection with you. This individual feels as though that you guys are resonating, resonate on the same frequency mentally, emotionally, spiritually, um, that you have a lot in common. And that um, you guys are destined to be together. Okay, so this is a definite deep soulmate connection. This individual believes that they have with you. Um, this individual happens to be a water sign individual. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. All right, and they are willing to be loyal, to be in, to be loyal and to be devoted, and also be to be nurturing. Okay, so. Um, this is an individual that uh, definitely believes that there is a strong connection between you guys and is really looking to uh, do what they need to do to make this happen. This also appears to be an individual that you work with. So this is an, you'll recognize this individual because this is an individual that you either work with or that you met uh, from someone at your work. So that means you were introduced to this individual from your place of work or if it's a school situation. You know, you 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 do you have done a project with this individual, uh, um, or you were introduced to this individual to somebody through school or something like that. So there's some sort of a group connectivity that you do have uh, together with this individual. Is what I'm trying to say here. Okay. Um, additionally, there also is a younger air sign individual here as well. Okay. A Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius here. Now, this individual, uh, again, Page of Swords sometimes can either be a little bit immature and or um, a little in, in, or inexperienced here. Okay. Now, this individual um, has approached you. Um, you know, so you are aware of, of 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 how this person feels about you because they have articulated how they feel about you and articulated to you um, about you know, the future that you think that, 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 that they think that you, you may have with them. So, um, you're aware of this individual. Um, but with that being said, because, you know, maybe, um, you haven't been as receptive maybe as they think that you should have been, um, what's beginning to happen with them is they, we got the five of swords energy here. And there's this feeling really of, um, do I continue on this path of, um, of trying to get this person's attention? So they're thinking to themselves, should they continue to try to get your attention? Or should it just kind of just walk away from the situation? Because it doesn't look like um, it's going to work in their favor. You know, uh, and, and, and but then again, see, that's where the immaturity comes in at because... Um, there's layers to this thing, here, okay? Relationships, especially love, is, is very complex. It's a very complex thing, and there and because of this naive this naiveness that they have, or this immaturity, okay? Um, to them, it should be rather simple. It's, it's, they're, they're thinking it's like, hey, I like you. I think you like me. We have a lot in common here. So, you know, maybe we should try to proceed with proceed with something a little bit more. Um, a little, a little bit more um, fruitful here, a little bit more intimate, okay, because they are thinking about long-term commitment, 
Um, they're thinking about a possible uh, marriage in the future. So they're looking for something. They're looking at things from a very solid perspective, but it's kind of through rose-colored glasses, if you will. Okay, They're not really looking at all the complexities that come along with relationships. So they're being very adolescent about how they're perceiving things. Okay. And, and it's, you know, and, and, and they act. So it, because of that, you know, that's their understanding. And that's what's kind of making them kind of think, well, maybe this may not be worth me pursuing. Okay. Also, we have a water sign individual here. Okay. Another water sign individual, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. And then this person pretty much, at least in their mind, they believe, hey, listen, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the winning ticket here. So they're very sure of themselves, in other words, okay? They consider themselves to be very, uh, very good looking individual. Again, handsome, not, uh, beautiful, male, female, doesn't really matter. You can interchange the sexes here. Um, and this individual um, has been trying to really go out with you for some time now, okay? Um, you know, this person has, um, really tried to sweep you off your feet, rather it be, um, you know, uh, buying you flowers, trying, buying, you know, um, trying, buying you things, really, um, you know, offer, always offering their services to you all the time, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do this for you. Um, I'll, I'll take you here if you need this. I'll, I'll buy that for you. They're really trying to sweep you off your feet, so to speak, uh, materialistically. Um, you know, you know. So, so materialistically, emotionally, spiritually. You know, they find out something that you're really into. You know, um, you know, you like a particular artist. Hey, I, I just happen to have tickets to it. So they're trying to woo you. In other words, it's not really working. Because there's this sense of anxiety and emotional depression on their part. They're trying to figure out like, wow, everything I got, nothing's really clicking. Nothing's really working here. Okay, so what the hell do I need to do? So that's pretty much what's uppermost on their mind. Finally, also, we have a younger uh, earth sign individual here. A Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Okay, and this person is just on the periphery, just kind of watching all of this go down. Okay. Um, and this individual is like, okay, you know what? Let me pick my spots here. So they're, you know, they're picking their words very carefully and, and they're um, using the, the art of persuasion um, 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 to their advantage, actually. So it doesn't look like this individual has a whole lot to offer in terms of material things. They can't, they can't really woo you. Um, they don't work with you. Uh, they don't, you know, they, they don't kind of, so they don't have the same type of access to you um, as these other individuals do. But even though they have, don't have the same access, um, they got a, they got a sharp, sharp tongue and they hope they know how to uh, say, to say what they need to say to kind of get your attention. Okay. So this is an individual that's kind of, kind of communicating with you from a distance could even be through social media as well uh but this person is definitely communicating with you and they are very very um they are very very uh sharp when it comes to them being able to communicate kind of kind of expressing their points of view <clears throat> and it's it is it's, it's having somewhat relative effect okay so that's what's going on with that so that being said let's see what kind of strengths what kind of strengths are you dealing with? What kind of strengths are you dealing with, Libra? What kind of strengths are my Libras dealing with? What kind of strengths are my Libras dealing with? Some cards I need to see. Some cards I need to see. Cards that I need to see. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Hmm, interesting. So. You are focused in on Eight of Pentacles. You're working, uh, again, these are all your strengths. So you are open to a relationship for sure, but you're very focused in on your Pentacles too, 
You're very focused in on your finances, getting yourself financially solid and financially stable, okay? So that's, um, you know, in other words, your mind's on your money, your money's on your mind, getting your finances and structure in order, okay? Um, so that's a very important part of this whole scenario for you because you want to be able to uh, support, provide for yourself without having to lean on someone else to get some of the things that you want. It, financial independence is of, 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 of huge importance here for you. Um, also, you're approaching this with a sense of mental strength. Okay, you're very, very, very emotionally strong here. Okay, so in other words here, um, when it comes to affairs of the, of the heart, when it comes to emotions, you're a very grounded, very solid individual. Okay, you're not going to be easily swayed or anything like that. Um, and and, and uh, that's probably what's going on here with this younger air sign individual. It's just like, you're kind of like, you, you got, you're emotionally solid here. So, you know, you're just... You know, it doesn't really look like you're really going to be swayed by nonsense either way. You pretty much know what you want, and that's that's just that. Um, now, what's interesting here is also we have judgment card here, a reconnecting with a possible ex. Okay, and this is seen as a strength. So, this 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 ex is ever most on your mind as well. Okay, so that that may that may may be very interesting when it comes to any kind of prospects here that this kind of this this x kind of comes out and you know this x energy kind of permeates through this thing here so you've been thinking about your ex in other words also the hermit card so you've done a lot of soul searching and self reflecting um on yourself here so um you're pretty like i said you're very emotionally solid and you've done a lot of self-examination here also, we have the Sixth of Wands here. So you're looking for a recognized victory. You're looking, so you're looking, in other words, you're looking for a relationship that you um, are going to be able to live out loud with. Um, you know, um, shows of public affection, if you will. You know, you're not looking to have a relationship. You're going to keep on the DL. You're going to be loud and be proud about it. Um, you know, whomever that is. And so, you know, um, you're looking, yeah, again, you're looking for something that you could be, you know, that you're not afraid to have on your arm there. Now, you've put some fillers out there yourself, okay? Seven of Pentacles. You've put a couple of things out there yourself, uh, and you're just kind of waiting to see what kind of things ripen on his vine here. Um, and then with this X energy here is, it appears as if there's even a possibility maybe that you've kind of reached out, um, um, you possibly reached out, even if it's in a roundabout way, to your ex, maybe, to kind of see what's going on with them. Um, yeah, so I, I'm getting that impression as well. That's part of the whole, oh, you got some things kind of kind of out there, kind of gestating, if you will. You're just kind of waiting back, seeing what's going to bear fruit here. You want to be, you're looking to be um, in a, in a long-term committed relationship, possible children involved here, too. Okay. And finally here we have the sixth of swords. Okay, so um you're looking to have things a lot more stable in your life right now. You're at a period of time where um you know you're kind of past all of the um nonsense, if you will, the, the chicanery, all of the, the BS. You're looking for something that's grounded, something that's solid, something that's reliable, something that's calm, something that's reasonable, something that makes sense. So you're moving from 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 more you're moving more away from the chaos and more into calmness, if you will, because you're looking for something more more reliable, more calming. You're more for, looking for more of a calming influence in your life right now. And that's why you're working on getting your pinnacles together, having a solid financial foundation for yourself, appro approaching things from more of a mature, logical perspective, if you will. So with that being said, let's see what types of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation. What kind of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation? What types of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation? Show the cards I need to see. Show the cards I need to see.
see here. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so spiritual strength, passion. Okay, as I said in the past, this there you kind of just went with whatever you know. A date was a date, and you know if things clicked, they clicked. Now you're looking for something that's a little bit more substantive. Okay, something that you could really. Uh, or you can grow with also something that's also going to simulate your mind as well as your body, okay, and also spiritually too, because the strength are spiritual strength as well. So, um, it ha you you want to have a you want to have a connection with someone that has a degree doesn't have to be huge, but I'm also getting in a sense here this degree of some type of this type of spiritual side to them as well, some type of spirituality it doesn't have to be. Uh, mainstream uh, spirituality as well, but they have to have a spiritual component to them, or willing to explore a spiritual component as well. So again, you're you're looking to have something that's going to have some depth here. Also, in the past, you weren't able to you know balance your life, your 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 your, your personal and your personal life and your work life, and you're 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 better able to get those things in balance now at this at this point okay so and that's why so you're working on your pinnacles because you realize being financially balanced is, is just as important as your personal life so you're able to balance the two and finally here we have the queen of cups which means loyalty and devotion again in the past you know um maybe you weren't as serious about um, being in a solid, committed relationship as you are now, you know, it was a relationship, but it, you know, if it, you know, you were, it wasn't as important as it is now. In other words, it's not saying that you weren't willing to be committed. It was that the committed part. It was just like, well, we're together, and then if things don't work out, we break apart, and that's just how that goes. You're a lot more zeroed in, tuned into this, because of also because, like I said before, because of this sixth. Of swords energy here you want something a lot more reliable a lot more stable also as I said about this whole X situation here it's quite possible that <clears throat> as I said in the past you weren't as um, you, you weren't as really as much is really as zeroed in on having uh, having something solid as you were you are now something from your past of X perhaps really depending on how uh, things dissolved here you're beginning to kind of reminisce and think like you know maybe um maybe thing maybe i was maybe i was a little immature you know maybe they were a little bit immature i wonder what's going on with them right now you know i wonder you know and that's why i said the seven of pentacles you got a couple of things out there and I believe your ex possibly reconnecting with a former ex may be one of the things that you have out there. So, um, <clears throat> let's just see how that all turns out there. But that being said, let me see what additional information this Oracle have before I get this thing down here. What additional information this Oracle have before I shut this thing down? What additional information does Oracle have before I shut this thing down? Cards I need to see. Show the cards that I need. Two, let's see. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, <clears throat> expectations. Okay. It's okay. It's perfectly reasonable to have high expectations for an individual, um, <clears throat> and also um, having a spiritual component. It's not a bad thing to expect that. Um, to have the, the, that you guys are going to have more in common than just physical attraction. So, in other words, it's, it's okay to have your expectations up here because if you believe that you are a person of quality and substance, in other words, you're premium, then you want someone else that's going to be premium as well. Okay? Spirit also saying there is potential here. There is definitely some potential here out of these potential suitors here. There's definitely a potential situation here. Um, that's just basically just waiting on you to kind of take it to its next, take it to the next level, if you will. You're ready and you're waiting. Okay. We already established the fact that your your head is in the right place when it comes to 
uh, the outlook of you know, your finances, um, coming, making things from more, a more calm perspective here, being more reasonable and rational and mature in your thinking. Also, the Hermit card, you've done a lot of soul searching and self-reflecting on your part. You know, so again, there, there's been this sense of maturity that has happened. You're ready, but you're waiting. So it, it's looking as if that you're moving towards the end part of the waiting part because it looks like all the right things are in place now for you to go ahead and make a move towards something that's going to be substantial. So with that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. Um, <clears throat> this is a general love reading. So hopefully it resonated with you. If it didn't, um, you want to know a little bit more about your particular personal situation, I'll leave a link below. Feel free to get a personal reading. If this did not resonate with you, hey, that's cool too. Um, Again, the link will be below, get a personal reading. Um, if you haven't already, please like, please share, please subscribe. My name is Adonis, and I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.